my name is John and I am a co-founder of Cultured Analysis and we are a company that focuses on analysis, testing, and consultation um, in the kombucha industry, but we also work with other fermented and brewed beverages as well. The focus of this video is to introduce um, you to us and also to what we do and to a new product that we're going to be offering. So, first off, this is going to be the first video in hopefully what we consider to be a series of videos called Kombucha Chem Academy. And we're offering this series of videos to um, kombucha brewers, kombucha consumers, and anybody else who is interested in kombucha and its process and manufacturing because it allows us to actually tie our knowledge of chemistry and chemical analysis into kombucha and kombucha brewing. Now, as far as the video goes, our goal here is to introduce a new product that we're offering, which is a filtration kit. And the idea here is that we want to reduce um, shipping costs considerably for folks like you, kombucha manufacturers and brewers, who might want to ship a sample to us for analysis. The idea here is, before the um, advent of this kit, um, it often costs a great deal of money for um, a manufacturer or a brewer to send samples to a company such as us. To get a fresh kombucha sample to a laboratory might cost upwards of $150 or so our um, clients tell us. In the past you would have had to have purchased a cooler, you'd have to purchase ice packs, and you'd have to rely on overnight or maybe if you're lucky second day shipping. Either way the costs would mount considerably. So our goal here is to reduce those shipping costs by um, offering this kit down to something on the order of $10 to $15 because you can eliminate the cooler, the ice packs, and you can ship the sample using regular shipping in a small envelope or box. So big advantage here to our customers. So the next part of this video is actually going to be a simple demonstration of the parts available in the kit as you would receive it and also a simple demonstration of how the kit would be used to prepare a kombucha sample for shipment to us at Cultured Analysis. As I mentioned before, what we're doing here is introducing you to the filtration kit that you would receive from us at Cultured Analysis so that you can cheaply and inexpensively send samples back to us for analysis. So the first thing I want to do here is to introduce you to the various parts of the kit as you would receive them. So the first item that you would have is going to be the syringe. The second item present in the kit is the actual filter, which looks like this. And then finally, we have a conical tube for reception of your sample. So your sample would actually be shipped to us in this tube. So what we'd like to do now is to show you how you would actually prepare a sample for us. So I have here a kombucha sample. And um, prior to um, working with a sample, I've allowed it to come to room temperature, which is always a good idea. And if you have any sort of um, floaties in your kombucha or any sort of sediment, it's a good idea to allow those to settle out if at all possible because they can prematurely clog your filter. So the first thing we'd want to do is to take the um, syringe and keep in mind that it has a little tip on it here. It's a little cap so I want to actually unscrew and remove that cap. So now the um, syringe is ready to use. So the first thing I'd like to do once I've prepared the syringe is to um, place it into the kombucha sample and I'm going to draw up about three milliliters. So about the capacity of the syringe here. All right. Now we'll just remove the kombucha sample so we don't knock it over. And the next thing that we can do if we want to is we can just, um, just do a quick drying of the tip of the syringe here. And then you'll notice that the um, syringe actually has threading on it. So that's to actually thread onto the filter assembly. So the filter just threads on, screws on, twisted about finger tight. And now we're ready for actual filtration. Now another thing to remember here 
is that the receiving conical tube is actually sterile. So the important thing here is we want to keep it sterile. So we don't want to open the cap until we're ready to actually receive the sample. So this keeps um, bacteria, yeast, or anything that might be in the environment from growing in your kombucha while you send it to us. So we'll decap this. And now we'll proceed with the filtration. So all we have to do is place the um, filter tip into the receiving vial and I'm going to slowly depress the syringe. Now what may end up happening here is you may end up actually building up some resistance on the syringe here. So that's normal because we're actually um, collecting yeast and bacteria in the pores of the syringe and that's causing the syringe to clog. So you don't want to overdo that because you can actually blow out the syringe and then lose the filtration. So at this point, I've got about two milliliters in my reception um, vial, which is probably going to be enough um, for us to do normal sampling. So at this point, what I would do is I'm just going to um, actually cap that off. And then we'll also supply you with a little bit of parafilm here, which is actually laboratory grade saran wrap. And we're going to take the backing off of it, which can actually be hard if you don't actually have fingernails. We're working on that right now. Here it is. So fancy saran wrap. So essentially what I like to do is now wrap that tightly around the cap, and that keeps the cap from coming off during shipment. And then the last thing you would probably want to do is to take a Sharpie and identify on the white part of the um, vial here exactly what your sample is so we'll know how to record it when we receive it. So after this it's very simple. All you have to do is package this into either a small box or a shipping envelope and you can send it directly to us at Cultured Analysis using normal shipping. No more overnight, no more ice packs, no more coolers. So this can be done easily for about 10 to $15. All right, any questions, let us know. And also make sure that if you liked our video, make sure to give us the thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel and make sure to visit us at www.culturedanalysis.com and we'll see you next time.